Next question is from Sophia Northrup. How should I transition into weightlifting again after an injury? You know what's funny about this question is that uh, people don't realize that the best way to rehab or correct or fix or work on the body with after an injury is resistance training. Yeah, it is weight training. Yeah, if you go to – and here's <clears throat> there's a couple reasons why it's the best. There is no form of, of rehab or strengthening or correcting imbalances that even comes close – to resistance training. One of the main reasons why it's in a league of its own is because resistance training is formless in many different ways. There's, I can change my form technique and I can mold the exercise around my body. Um, it's That's what is unique to resistance training. You go to a physical therapist and almost most of the things that they'll do with you to fix your, your problems or rehab you revolve around resistance training. Now, sometimes that means weight that you're actually lifting a dumbbell. Sometimes it's a resistance band. Other times it's just intrinsic tension in your body, isometrics. But all of it is considered resistance strength. So it is by far, and it's the one that's used by professionals, the best way to work uh, or correct injuries. Now, how do you get into resistance training uh, after an injury? Number one, very slowly. Number two, special emphasis is and, and prioritized uh, is mobility work. That's what you need to focus on, correctional exercise and mobility work, and that'll get you not just to the point where you feel better after an injury, but get you to the point where you're now better off than you were before because that's probably why you got injured in the first place. I want to I add to that, um, and I have a story to share because I'm, I'm really passionate about this topic because when I had um, my knee surgery, this was not my first uh, injury that I had had, but it was my first injury I had after I had already like almost a decade of, of personal training under my belt. And I was far more educated than what I was in, with previous injuries. And I'll never forget uh, after the after I'd recovered from the knee surgery, uh, signing up for my rehab and going there. And I go to this rehab center and, uh, you know, I, I meet the, the physical therapist. And then uh, after that, he hands me off to uh, the lady who was kind of overseeing the area, which was a PT, right? So they typically have most therapies are like this. You have a physical therapy office, which is that's the main doctor where it's held under. Then they have a bunch of PT, PTAs, uh, physical therapist assistants that work underneath them that are helping all the patients. And they try and bust as many people as they can through that. And so they'll have a facility uh, like this one that I went through where there's about 10 of us that are all rehabbing. Someone's rehabbing an ankle, someone's rehabbing a knee, a hip. There's all different ages. We're all in there together. And then there's a PTA who's kind of overseeing everybody. And I'll, I'll never forget, uh, you know, I was doing, she came over to teach me, you know, I was doing like these little stations. And she came over to have me do these uh, wall squ ball squats where she put the wall behind my back and then I was squatting up and down and she wanted me to do that for like two minutes and she, you know, just take your time if you need to in between and rest. But for two minutes you do this and she went to the other patient, how to do stuff. And, uh, she basically showed me and then, yeah, I get it. I'm a trainer. She walked away. And what I remember, you know, the first time squatting down again after the injury was holy shit. You know, I was like shaking like a leaf. And when I would get down towards the bottom, you know, the natural thing that my body wanted to do was, again, like we were just talking about, is the, the, the dominant side that was an injury would take over out of the squat, mm -hmm. you know, and I would shift over to the right really hard, and then it would shoot me out of the squat. Now, I know as a trainer that mechanically, the, the what I'm trying to do when I'm rehabbing right there is to be very meticulous about my form and not allow the body to just take the easiest path. And so... I, I, that got me really, I ended up quitting the, the, the rehab because this happened two or three times in a row. And I'm like, why the fuck am I doing this? If I'm doing the real training, the hard part is the form and the technique while you're rehabbing. Because if you just go through the movements and you don't think about what you're trying to accomplish, you just solidify bad patterns. And this mm -hmm. happens to so many Americans that come out of our surgeries and our rehab is they just, you know, they get them working, you know, they get them working again and able to go back to their daily life and walking, but they didn't really fix the overcompensation that naturally yes. happens in all of us. Yeah. So your attention to detail and form is more important than it ever has been when you are rehabbing an injury. So, you know, when you do go back to weights, it's a, it go start with very lightweight and and put all of your energy and emphasis on on mirroring the other side or being symmetrical when you move and really focus on the mechanics and trying to perfect your form. 
That is far more important than seeing, hey, last week I did five pounds. Now this week I'm doing 10 pounds. I'm getting better. No, no, no. Pay attention to the movement and the, and the detail that otherwise you're setting yourself up for a headache long term.